Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. And uh, as you can see, today we're taking a look at a case for the iPhone 4. Now, this is the UCO bumper case. It's actually called the skinny bumper for the iPhone 4. And this is from The High Shop. So uh, as you guys know, we uh, took a look at their screen shields. You're going to want to go check out their website. It's www.thehighshop.com. Now, these bumpers uh, come in three different colors. It comes in a white-black combination. It comes in a uh, yellow-black combination, kind of bumblebee color. And it comes in a pink. Okay, so you've got three different colors. It does include two screen shields. It includes a front and a back, as well as uh, free side protectors for your iPhone. Now, this bumper is for AT&T phones only, and I'll show you why in a second and it retails for $23.95. So I've been rocking one of these cases for a while now, and uh, let me show you what comes in the package, and I've got everything out of the package already. As you can see, you will be getting the skinny bumper, we'll go over that. You will be getting a back screen shield, a front screen shield, a side uh, screen shield protectors, a squeegee, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. So we will put those in there. Now guys, this is uh, very similar to other style bumpers. You know, the Apple bumper, the, uh, you know, the ciders from um, Bodyguards. But let me tell you what's a little bit different about these, okay? As you can see, first of all, it's got these really nice, shiny, kind of chrome looking um, buttons. Let's get focus there. That's really cool, okay? I like those a lot. And uh, it's got the button on the top too. And it's kind of got a matte feel on the side. And then it's got kind of a secondary kind of rubbery bumper here. That's the color. So let's get this on the phone and let's go over it for you. Hey, as you know, you're going to put your button side in first, your side buttons, then your top buttons. And then you're going to kind of work it around there. Okay. And it goes on pretty easily. Okay, the first couple times that you put this on, it is going to be a little more snug. I have noticed over the last couple of weeks that it has uh, loosened up just a little bit. I'll go over that. But let's go over all the openings first. On the top, as you can see, we have this nice chrome button for the uh, sleep wake. And it's very responsive. I like this button a lot. It feels just like the sleep wake button on the iPhone. So that's very, very uh, close attention to detail there. Here you've got your secondary mic and your uh, headphone jack. Now the headphone jack is really, really tight. So you guys may have a problem with some larger headphone jacks. I mean, it is really tight. It is precise. Also, the secondary mic hole is a little bit small and uh, I haven't noticed that to be a problem, but just to give you guys some information. Now, as you'll notice, I mentioned that this is for the AT&T uh, phone only. And that is because the cutout is not big enough to accommodate the uh, vibrate switch for the Verizon phone. As you guys know, the, the Verizon phone, the vibrate switch is a little bit, uh, a little bit lower than the AT&T. So this will only fit the AT&T. And then you've got the uh, volume up down buttons. Again, a really nice chrome finish on them. Really good feel, feel just like the buttons on the iPhone. So that's what I really, really like about it. On the bottom here, and when we focus up, let's focus this up here. There we go. On the bottom, you have a nice big cutout for your 30 pin connector and separate cutouts for the speaker and microphone, which is a nice touch. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, you have this kind of black piece going all the way across the, the middle here. Okay, and then you've got kind of a, a secondary kind of rubbery feeling it's not kind of rubbery, but it is more of a matte feeling. It just feels a little bit different than the edge there. Uh, that is in your different color and on the black and the uh, white and the black and the yellow. The pink, it's all pink. It's a different shade of pink, but it's all pink. And it does give you a little bit of a very, very little lay on the table design. This is a very minimalistic case, guys. It's not going to give you any back protection whatsoever. It does come with the back screen shield, but if you drop this on your back, you're going to be uh, kind of out of luck. But it does give you a minimal minimalist bumper style case. Now, the one drawback I did see to this case is, uh, like I said, I've been using it for about two weeks. And I have taken it in and out of this case a number of times. And over the last two days, what I've noticed is, is this side here 
is getting a little loose to where, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Uh, you probably can't, but it's getting a little loose right about here. So when I hold it up to my ear, I can kind of hear a little click there. And I've tried to, you know, uh, situate it to maybe it's not sitting right, but um, just to be aware that, you know, if you're gonna take it in and out multiple times, I've taken this in and out at least once a day to kind of simulate a longer period of time using this because as you guys know, I can only use this a week or two and then I need to kind of give you my review and, and my thoughts. So I take it in and out of these cases at least once a day um, to simulate taking it out over a longer period of time. But it, I do notice that after a bunch of times, it does seem to loosen up there a little bit. So just something to keep in mind. Um, it doesn't seem to happen on this side. It just seem to happen on this side. Maybe that's an isolated incident. I'm not sure. So, but anyway, guys, if you're looking for a bumper style case, this is a great solution. Um, it is, uh, again, $23.95. It comes with a front, a back, side protection. It comes in black and yellow, pink, or white and black. Okay, it is the UCO Skinny Bumper. I don't know why I like saying that, but it's the Skinny Bumper. And you can get this from The High Shop. It is thehighshop.com. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed uh, my review. As you can see, I've got three of these packaged up. So we will be doing a giveaway on these uh, skinny bumpers in the near future. So keep an eye on that. If you have any question on this product or any products, frankly, that we review, shoot me an email. It's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. And uh, if you want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerfsqueezer. So guys, as always, thanks for your support. I hope that this was a uh, informative video for you. And until next time, uh, we will hope that you all have a fantastic, wonderful, outstandingly great day. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.